Hi guys, my name is Camille and I'm from Pareto Education and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we'll be speaking about dysuria. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share for similar content. Dysuria is a very common symptom accounting for a large portion of consultations in primary and secondary care. It is when patients describe a symptom of burning or painful sensation when urinating. It is more common in women than men due to the presence of a shorter urethra in women. When taking a history for dysuria, it is important to consider the following diagnoses. Urinary tract infection. Does the patient have nocturia or increased frequency alongside their dysuria? Consider a prescription of antibiotics for these patients. Palinephritis. If the patient describes symptoms of a UTI but with flank pain, this should be considered a possible diagnosis. They would potentially present systemically unwell as well with the temperature. Renal stones. Patients may complain of blood in the urine along with episodes of flank pain. Sexually transmitted disease is also a possible diagnosis, so make sure you include a targeted sexual history in your questioning. Gynecological causes. This can include endometriosis, atrophic vaginitis, or even menopause. Ask about menstruation and take a wider gynecological history. Benign prostatic hyperplasia or BPH. This should be considered in males, especially in those over the age of 50. This may present with urinary dribbling and reduced flow. Depending on the course, these patients may require a course of antibiotics, pain management, or a referral to secondary care. Now let's take a look at an example in action. Uh, hi, my name is Camille and I'm one of the pharmacists with the extended role. Can I take your name and date of birth, please? Yeah, I'm Alan Jones. I'm uh, 63 years old. Nice to meet you, Mr. Jones. Hello. So I've been asked to see you in regards to some urinary symptoms you're experiencing. Can you tell me a little bit more about these, please? Yeah, I'm having a little bit of stinging whenever I go to the toilet. Okay, so tell me a little bit more about that. When did this first start? When did you notice it? It's probably been about three or four days. Okay. It's just really uncomfortable and really only happens whenever I go to the toilet. So you don't feel pain otherwise around that area? No, but I've got this constant urge that I need to go. To go. And how many times would you say you went today or yesterday? I mean, yesterday was at least about six times in six the day. Six times? Yeah. yeah. And is that different to your normal stuff? Yeah, it's never, never normally as much as that, really. Of course. So is that the main symptom, just pain when you're passing? Or do you have other symptoms as well? Uh, I mean, I don't feel as well. I, feel, I don't think I've got a fever, but I feel a little bit lethargic. And coming back to in terms of urinary symptoms, so you feel unwell, a bit unwell in yourself, not quite right. Pain when passing urine. What about things like difficulty establishing a flow? No, flow seems to be all right. And what about anything like blood in the urine, dark? urine no thank god nothing like that so you've not noticed it going red or very dark no not at all okay fine and have you noticed anything that um, you know once the flow has started it doesn't really stop so we call that dribbling for example no no dribbling at all okay any of the symptoms that you want to be aware of like when it's flowing is it painful or is it you know just an ache what kind of pain is it it's like needles oh really you know uh, it's, it's it's pretty severe yeah okay and is it every time you go yeah is there would you say there's a strong foul odor yeah it's a bit smelly all right have you woke up in the night to open pass urine i have been yeah. and i don't usually i okay. normally try to go before i go to bed Fine. and that way at least i can see through the whole night but i've woken up like twice in the last two or three nights Fine. All right. And have you been changing anything about your diet? Might you drink water? You know, fasting, for example, anything like that? No, not necessarily. It seems to be the same. Fine. And when you say you're in yourself, was there any other symptoms? I know you said you felt a bit lethargic, a bit flu but not high fever. Would you say you've got any change in your bowel habits, for example? No, no, bowel's all right. Appetite and all that is kind of okay. It's fine, yeah. Yeah, no other issues in yourself. Yeah, weight's okay as well. Yeah, um, fine. And all only these problems have been last for the last three or four days, you'd say? Yeah, that's correct. All right. Any strenuous exercise in the last couple of days? Anything like that? No, not particularly. All right. Have you had any recent prostate exams? You mean like back passage and all? That's right, yeah. So sorry to uh, just to explain myself. Have you had an examination of your back passage with any issues with your prostate? No, no, not that I know of. Okay. Just a gentleman of your age, you know, that's something we have to consider as well. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I've never really had any issues with my weed. It's first time, really. Okay, and a bit more personal questions. We have to ask any gentleman that presents with these kind of symptoms. Any problems with your sort of ejaculation? No, no. I mean, I am sexually active with my wife, Yeah. Um, but I've never had any problems kind of with that. 
And now you are sort of exclusive with your wife as well? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Have you had any, you know, again, a question that we have to ask everyone, any sexually transmitted infections in the past? No, no. no. Okay. And any uh, urine infections in the past? Never, no. never. Okay. In fact, when I told my wife some of these symptoms, she, she reckoned it might have been that. But of course, you know, we're, we're not clinicians at all. Of course. And the female and the male anatomy, especially in around that area, is a little bit different. So I have to ask a few more questions. No problems. Okay. Do you have any problems with your kidneys? Have you ever experienced these kind of things in the past? Such as? Such as, you know, infection of the kidneys. You know, sometimes people have polycystic kidney disease. Also, people have chronic kidney disease. Anything like that? No, nothing like that. No? Nothing like that. Okay. And as far as you know, you've got normal anatomy of the kidneys as well. Yeah, I've never been told that I've got any stones or anything like that. Fine. I've just okay. been told that my kidneys are fine. So you've not had any kidney stones? No. All no. right. And in yourself, would you say are you active? You normally go about your day job or are you retired or anything like that? I'm all right. Yeah, active. You know, I'm kind of I'm kind of semi-retired, pretty yeah. much retired. I do a lot of gardening, walking around, a bit of travel. So I keep myself going. Just a bit more personal questions. Do you have any past medical history that I should be aware of? Cardiovascular disease, diabetes? High blood pressure. Okay. But that's all. And do you take any medications for that? I'm lodopine. Okay. And you're regular with those medications? Yeah. And is your blood pressure normally well controlled? That's correct, yeah. Yeah. Any allergies? No. All right. Have you had any, on your male side of your family, have you had any sort of issues with the prostate in the past, uh, with your family, anything like that? No, nothing like that. I've got no, no known history of any prostate problems. Okay, fine. And what about any other sort of conditions that are running the family that I should be aware of? Nothing, nothing at all. Fine. A little bit about your social history, you said you're still active. Are you still working? As I mentioned, no, no. You know, semi-retired. Fine, all right. Yeah. And would you say you drink alcohol on a regular basis or...? I don't drink it on a regular basis, but of course if there's like, you know, an event of some sort, me and my wife may, uh, we, we may have a few drinks. Okay, perfect. Do you smoke at all? I don't smoke, never had, or never, never have and hopefully never will. Fine, all right. So based on what you've told me today, I'd like to do a few things just to help me find out the differential for this. Okay. And I'll take a full set of observations and I'll also take a, a urine sample as well. Sure. So um, if you could pop to the bathroom after this and provide a sample, that'd be really good. Uh, yeah, no problems. What are you going to do with the sample? So initially I'll just do a simple urine dipstick, which I can do here at the surgery. Mm -hmm. This will just give me an indication about infections, things like protein in your urine, things like glucose in your urine and also blood in your urine as sure. well. And these give an indication towards infection, or anything wrong with your kidneys. All right, we will also send this off to the laboratory and the hospital just to get further analyzed. Fine. Okay, so once you've provided this sample, you know, I'd also like to do some blood tests as well today, just to see if everything's okay, including infection markers, mm -hmm. and also blood tests that we do for the prostate as well, okay. just to be on the safe side. And just as well as that, I would like to examine your prostate after the blood test as well, Fine. if that's okay. No problems. So we'll book in for you later on this afternoon where you can sort of facilitate that, okay? Okay. Now, from what he explains to me, what it sounds like is, it sounds like a, possibly a urine infection. Right, I thought so. Yeah, possibly this is what's going on here. You're not experiencing any flank pain? No. No. And overall, your fevers, they're not sort of, you know, rigoring, be really unwell with it. So it's unlikely to be something called, we call a pyelonephritis, which is a more serious type of urinary slash renal infection. Brilliant. So we'll treat this with a simple course of oral antibiotics over okay. the next couple of days. So seven day course for men, which it'd be more rarer for men. And if you know you ever have these sort of symptoms again, we'd proceed to get some more urological input into this. Uh -huh. So get some specialists involved, okay? But for the first instance, we'll, we'll treat it with oral antibiotics. Okay. I'd just like you to make you feel aware of a few safety things, just in case if things turn for the worse. So if you become really unwell, you have problems with the urination where you're unable to start urinating or you don't urinate for around eight hours. That's a cause for concern. If your urine is really dark, there's any blood in your urine. If you become unwell in yourself, fevering, the flank pain I mentioned earlier around your back, and rigoring, shaking with sort of fevers, then you must know immediately on 999. Of course. All right. So if you've got no allergies, I'd like to prescribe you some antibiotics and mm -hmm. we'll take it from there. Thank you so much.